Hey guys, so today I am going to tell you about MTG Finance and why Alpha Investments is actually a good improvement over what we previously have and still have. So MTG Finance is all about uh, shady activity, inside trading. Essentially, you can read a Wired article. It does not depict any of them in a good light. Uh, Rudy, of course, was asked because he's the largest if he wanted to be interviewed for the article and he made a video suggesting that he knew that the article would display him in unsavory terms, which is what they did to everyone who was interviewed. Um, in the article, there was a incident where an MTG finance person who was leaking inside information, his name was Chapman, was using an entire paid platform, a paid discord for MTG price to sell boxes for ten thousand plus dollars and they were never delivered and they weren't even a great price right so it's ten thousand plus dollars for 96 japanese war the spark boxes coming out to about 100 and 500 i'm sure there was shipping and stuff um i don't know why they to save an extra twenty dollars at the time or ten dollars at the time they would give all their money i assume friends and family with no strings attached, no chargeback, nothing um, to a random person who had, who the only reason they've never met that person, that, he, that person doesn't have a store. And there's no guarantee that person can even deliver one booster box, which turned out to be the case. How's he going to deliver $10,000 of booster boxes? Then you compare it to Rudy. Rudy made a mistake. Um, he made a massive mistake. He put on, you know, you always got to put some limits on it, your eBay account because you don't know. I mean, if you're selling Icoria and it's a good price and people want to support you and they got their stimulus check, yeah, they're going to buy a bunch of Icoria. Like the same with Dave and Adams, you know, they put limits, uh, Best Buy, they put limits on how much you can buy. Now, the limit is a case and you do the math, it's sometimes better to sell and then readjust your price. That's what a lot of other stores do. They sell and then they readjust their price. Or uh, GameStop has limits, for instance, whenever they have a sale, is or even whenever they're not. So yes, that was a big boo-boo, but he made it right. He offered uh, various um, replacement products, if you will. I think he offered Commander, uh, Commander Dex, which is you no know, a good product. That is definitely a product people want. And yeah, and then he made it right. Uh, he made it right. That's what you do as a business. So when you compare Rudy to a Chapman individual at the MTG Finance Discord channel, paid Discord channel, so it's no different from Rudy's Patreon, right? It was MTG Finance's uh, Discord channel. You see two very different business models, right? Uh, one business model, you have Rudy, and even if he has to take a loss or break even, um, he's going to do that because it's reputation to your business. Imagine if Rudy did not ship the boxes of Icoria out. That would not be acceptable, right? Now, that's exactly what happens in MTG Finance. That's exactly what happened with Puka Trade monthly magic box uh and then now the whole chapman thing on wired like i would not do business with chapman ever because he's a shady individual acting unethically and then no how why would it surprise anyone that he collected ten thousand dollars and then took the money and went on a nine thousand dollar vacation which is also alluded to in the article so it's like whoa well that's kind of close right pretty close maybe he refunded back a little bit or some people did not pay him friends and family and honestly like these really wise mtg finance investors how did they get taken by such a ridiculous scam like it's a ridiculous scam hey just give me cash i don't own a store and i have no way to procure it on my own but i know somebody i know someone well no, you don't. Like it doesn't. And what are you trying to say? Like extra ten? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. 
Like, you know, the savings was nothing. Why wouldn't you order directly from the store? The, it's like so mind-blowing. Like, if there was a store and they were giving discounted things, why, is, why would we pay Chapman a middleman to negotiate 96? It, it, again... So Rudy's doing volume on the thousands, right? 2,000 collectors of boxes. This dude's not even doing 100, and he can't do it properly. So, so it is pretty crazy to me what is going on right now and how MTG Finance is you know, always on Rudy when, in fact, he's done something that they haven't done, which is deliver boxes. Uh, deliver boxes. So I gotta turn off the Siri. Um, where is it? The off button. Yeah, you have a system which. You have a system where the MTG finance people they clap their hands and they laud scammers, right? Who don't have businesses, who don't ship boxes that people have already paid for. And they think this is okay, right? None of nobody cares about MTG Finance has not mentioned this Chapman character one time. Is it too, they're too embarrassed. It's you're too embarrassed. This happens with every Ponzi scheme. Or, you know, Herbalife and La La Rue. You're too embarrassed to tell people what you actually feel. People bought two spent two hundred dollars or whatever he was, two hundred and ten for an Icoria box. Not a bad price. He sold a bunch. He found out that he did not have the right amount of inventory, which happens. Did he cancel his orders or did he go out and buy the rest of the inventory? He went out and bought the rest of the inventory. That's how you do business. And the MTG finance model, which happened on Wired and was confirmed by both parties, you had an individual who collected the $10,000 for 96 boxes and then did not deliver anything. And that's okay, right? That, that's okay. That, that's very, that makes sense to me, I guess. And yet you're going to go after the dude who actually delivered. If anything, this Chapman individual should be embarrassed, ashamed, or he's more proud than ever, right? He's leaking more information than ever. So... Again, you just have a night and day way to look at it. You have a real business doing business things and acting and behaving like a business. If you order something, it has to be delivered. That's the same with Amazon, Best Buy, all the like a, you know these large businesses. Same with Hasbro. Then you have some rogue people like Chapman who call themselves MTG Finance Genius who leak inside information from Wizard of Coast employees, and they will never give you what you order. There was no doubt in my mind that Chapman individual would not deliver the box. It doesn't make it, again, for me, it doesn't make any sense. If you're buying from a store, what you're going to buy on eBay, you're going to buy using PayPal, or you're going to buy using um, a credit card, especially something like $10,000, how can you not get the money back? And even if you couldn't get the money back, shouldn't you be personally responsible for those boxes? Because if I'm a customer and you're a store, right? Or a business or whatever you are, and I give you $10,000 and somehow you've convinced me because I'm apparently an idiot that the $10,000 on my side, I can't charge you back on for whatever reason. Because I didn't use a credit card because I wasn't smart enough to realize that, you know, what was going on here, even though it should have been super obvious based on, you know, you wanted cash or a check or, you know, PayPal friends and family, a way that you could get the money and you could never refund it. So why would you be so worried about that, right? Unless you were trying to scam. So the way they were set up was set up as a scam. And now millions, I don't know how many people read, at least hundreds of thousands of people who read the article know all about you. So if you're a business, let's say I am a business and I got scammed on my end 
that doesn't mean I should not deliver the product. That means I still have to deliver the product and just eat the loss. That's how Rudy operated. That's not how MTG Finance operates. Right? The Chapman just said, you know what? It sucks for you guys. You will eat the loss. And, they, and everyone in MTG Finance clapped their hands and said, yeah, that's amazing. Greg to go, Chapman. Way to scam us. You guys are effing idiots. Like, why would you attack a dude like Rudy who made his customers whole, which is exactly the right thing to do? Because you want to be there long term. You're not t taking a $10,000 bag and running, right? He could easily have canceled the orders and say, you know, whoa, it's me. That's terrible. Again, terrible customer service if he did that, but he chose not to do it. He chose to act and behave like an Amazon or a Best Buy or any of these larger retailers which is the way that you want to behave. And that's why people trust them. A card kingdom, a channel five ball. And then you look and see how MTG Finance behaves and it's like night and day. This dude, and they paid Discord MTG Finance channel, is not accountable. There's no pressure anyone can put on him other than kick him out of the Discord channel to make him refund the money. If you were a real business, you absolutely would take the hit. You would say, you know what? For my reputation's sake, you know, I was personally scammed for $10,000, but let me deal with that. I'm going to refund you all your money. Or I'm going to actually go out and buy the boxes at more than the price that I thought I could get them at and then send it to you and take a double loss. That's not what MTG Finance is. And that's, ne that's never what it will become. Hi, guys.